Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an interactive data visualization using Plotly. Embarking on a captivating journey of interactive data visualization and unlock the power of visualizing data with Plotly. As you can see here, this is an interactive visualization so everyone can understand, especially uh, non-professionals can understand by looking at the data you have uh, visualized in this case. For example, when you are moving to uh, the data points of uh, in this visualization, you can see that uh, the country name, the continent, the GDP per capita, life expectancy, and the population size. So non-professionals can easily understand by looking at the uh, visualized uh, uh, data. So such kind of visualization is very important as a data scientist or data uh, researcher uh, or data analysis. So to create such kind of visualization, uh, I will show you a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial how you can create uh, interactive data visualization using Plotly uh, Express. Plotly Express is very, very uh, powerful data visualization, especially if you want to just uh, create a dashboard and uh, just create a web app for your uh, project. Uh, you can simply uh, uh, display this visualization on your web app. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you have to uh, install the Plotly on your computer using pip install Plotly. Once you install this, you can import uh, the Plotly Express, import as PX. Then, in this tutorial, I'm going to use Gapminder dataset, which is available on Plotly Express website. So, the Gapminder uh, first uh, read the data using PX dot data gap minder. So you can check this uh, data uh, for uh, learning how you can create data visualization. And you can also use your own data and you could create such kind of interactive visualization. Okay, now I have just uh, loaded uh, the data and the remaining part is just setting the scatter plots because this, as you can see, this is a scatter plot and you can understand uh, the trends uh, and you can discover the insights by looking at this data visualization, okay? And in the right side, you can see the labels of the uh, continents. Each colors uh, can easily identify the continents, okay? Now I create the scatter plot. And I set everything in this scatter plot. First, I pass the data frame. The data frame is which is I loaded here from Gapminder. And now I set the x and y axis of the data. In the x and the, the y axis. So the, the x column is GDP per per capita and the y axis is life xp now i just put the population the size of the population in each coordinates for example when you are hovering on the data point you can see the population size of each uh, continent that is size attribute or property pop and you can put the color of each continent for example here the color going to be applied in each continent not in each country because the countries are very large so you can easily identify the levels by continents okay And the remaining parts are hovering. When you are hovering on each, you can see that the countries of that data point uh, on top of the hover.
log x is true you can say true and i just put the ranges in the x and y axis of this graph in the ranges for example the maximum range in this case is and they and, and the x axis is 100k and uh, the life expectancy range maximum uh, is uh, around 90 so i can put range in the x uh, pass minimum range is 300 and the maximum is around 100,000 and also range in the y axis that is representing the life expectancy of each country that is minimum is 20 and maximum is 90. Okay, uh, now let's uh, pass the title which is displayed on top of the graph. For example, GDP per capita versus life expectancy. This is the title of this uh, graph. So I can pass the title. And level is, which is displayed on the X and Y axis. I just modify that and pass uh, as a dictionary GDP per capita. This is the X axis, the level of the X axis, and modify to GDP per capita. And the life expectancy, which is displayed on the uh, y axis, is life XP. So I just modify this to readable and understandable by non professional. Okay. Finally, I just change the tem uh, template of the graph. For example, in this tutorial, I'm going to use dark theme, and you can also choose different themes uh, based on your interest of the uh, themes. Okay, so I just pass as template and plotly underscore dark. You can you can choose light, it is up to you. Now I have finished uh, all uh, attributes in this scatter blocks. And finally, I wanna just update the levels in the X and the Y axis by passing big dots, update X axis and pass the title text, which is displayed on the uh, x-axis that represents the labels of x-axis. And I also update the y, which is displayed that life expectancy. So non-professional can understand by looking at the levels in the x and y axis of the graph I just finish uh, everything here uh, and finally I just put uh, fig.show to show the visualization, to show the graph. Finally you can run this. Uh, on your terminal by calling your Python three dots, I mean, uh, your Python file name 
and you can see the graph okay when you are uh, hovering uh, in each uh, continent in each country you can see the uh, country name on the hover on top of the hover and the continent of that country the gdp per capita life expectancy and population size so uh, non-professional uh, especially as a professional you are developing uh, you are uh, creating uh, such kind of interactive data visualization for non-professional who can understand by looking at that graph and you can also understand uh, the trends of that graph for example this is a scatter plot scatter plot basically to show the trends of your data set okay and you can discover new insights from your uh, data set by visualizing uh, the data okay so Plotly is very, very uh, powerful to uh, create interactive visualization than uh, the Matplotlib and other uh, Seaborn uh, data visualization tools. I hope you enjoyed in this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching today.